Hi, I'm Ampika, and today I'm going to show you two ways of how to eat healthy, make sure you keep your blood sugar levels up, and you're energised throughout the whole day. The first way I'm going to show you is by making an energised fruit smoothie, and the second option is to make some coconut and chocolate protein balls. I'm going to start off straight away doing the fruit smoothie. We have orange, we use the zest of orange, banana, papaya, mango and pineapple. If you're looking at a way to energise yourself throughout the day, pre or post workout, because I'm always at the gym, you want to have something, not necessarily coffee or tea, but something really healthy to keep yourself full and just take the edge sometimes off your appetite, I always start the day with a fruit smoothie. If I don't have time to drink it there and then in the morning, I place it in the fridge and it'll last up to 24 hours. So I can grab it any time. First off, I'm going to use the zest of the orange. People don't realise how many vitamins and minerals there are actually in the skin of the orange. And it does give your fruit smoothie that extra kick. Once I've removed all the zest of the orange, I will then use the juice of the orange and squeeze it into my smoothie. I'm also going to use some mango slices, some pineapple, some papaya and a banana. It's really good if you want to utilise a lot of your fresh fruit in your bowl when you know especially when your fruit's just about to go on the turn at home. Just blend it in a smoothie and have it as a drink. Sometimes sit there and peel fruit and eat one piece of fruit one after another. It would be too much to do. But once it's in a smoothie, two drinks and you've consumed all your fruit. The great thing about smoothies is you could add blended ice to thicken it and to cool your smoothie down. If you wanted to put a scoop of protein whey in, you can do. If you wanted to put some honey in or natural yoghurt, that also gives your smoothie a different type of twist. Once I've placed my papaya, mango, pineapple, banana, orange zest and orange juice into the blender, I'm ready to go. There we go, literally within 30 seconds we are done. That smells beautiful. I feel like I'm on a Hawaiian beach somewhere. All I need now is the sunshine. tropical heaven. I'm now going to show you how to make chocolate and coconut protein balls. So we'll start off with the ingredients. We have our rolled oats, we have our grounded cashew nuts, melted chocolate, we have our toasted desiccated coconut, we have our agave syrup, cashew butter, a large scoop of chocolate protein whey, and then obviously the toasted coconut to drizzle around the edges. So let's get it all into the blender. I'll put my rolled oats into here first. That's always great to keep your energy levels high. You don't have to use grounded cashew nuts, you could use grounded peanuts or macadamia nuts or even Brazil nuts. Pop some of the coconut in now. You don't have to go for this agave syrup, you could go for golden syrup, which is one of my favourites, or honey. Cashew butter, or I have used in the past, peanut butter. This is protein powder, chocolate flavoured, or you could use banana or vanilla flavoured. And last but not least, melted chocolate. I do love chocolate. I 
So, once we've got all the ingredients inside the food mixer, we are good to go. Literally done within 30 seconds again. It's so easy to roll these into balls because the consistency is already quite firm. And this is something which is great, which you can leave in the fridge, consume within two days, put it into your handbag in cling foil, and eat it throughout the day. There's so many different coatings that you can put on these protein balls. Here we're going to use the coconut and to basically just roll the ball into the coconut flakes. I have in the past when I've been feeling very indulgent used the tiny mini marshmallows. I've also used Rice Krispies and Cocoa Pops to give it that little bit of extra crunch. The thing being a single working mum is there's just never enough time or hours in a day. So I need to be able to pick myself up and have little bites and healthy snacks to eat that are already made in my fridge. And this is a great way, it takes me literally five minutes to make these balls. I can place them in the fridge and it's good food to eat on the go. There's so many different variations that you can place into these protein balls. If there's anything in particular that you really, really like, any different types of nuts. You can even add certain types of fruits into them as well, like raisins and currants, give it a really nice kick. So there we go, here are my chocolate and coconut protein balls alongside my fruit smoothie. Just two ways to keep yourself energised and uplifted throughout the whole day. Mmm, they are delicious.